This is the second session of the first module of the Back Care program. We're going to start to cover the basics of core stabilization. We went through the breathing, and following the breathing, we just create, you know, we breathe in through the lower abdomen. Now we try to keep that pressure while we breathe out again. That creates stability so we can start to move. We move the head. We can start to lift legs. It's all about sort of moving the limbs on top extremities on top of the intra-abdominal pressure. Remember the illustration from the lecture. It's all about maintaining that pressure to create freedom for the arms and legs and head to move. From there on, there is really no recipe book. You can lift legs, you can lift arms. Uh, as, you know, as long as you sort of keep everything nice and stable with the help of the intra-abdominal pressure. Doing this, the diaphragm is actually performing its breathing on a lower level. So you keep your arms and legs up. You remember this is the dying bug track. Move the arms, move the legs. When you're lifting the lay arms up, make sure that the rib cage does not follow. You want the rib cage to stay down, allow the diaphragm to do its job properly. And then you can, you know, move both arms and legs as long as you can maintain stability. You can create a bit of extra resistance by actually pushing a knee and a hand together. You will feel how you activate the oblique chain straight through your abdomen. You can move your arms sideways, one way, the other way. You can do the same with the legs, just drop them sideways you're maintaining a stable trunk with the intra-abdominal pressure. You can then lean both arms and legs and then just keep nice and stable. You can add resistance. When it gets a little bit heavier, really important to make sure that we keep the rib cage down. As you can see, this is the basic position for a lot of the gym exercises. You can use Terra bands. These will just wrap them around the legs, hold on by the arms, and then just sort of move the legs out and then pull in the arms. And it's all being stabilized by the pressure in the lower abdomen. You can add Terra band or a cable pulley, anything to the limbs can be an arm can be a, a leg and then pull in all directions as long as the stability is maintained as soon as we start to move the limbs it's important then to keep the joints that are moving in a centrated position we're going to cover that in a in the next lecture show you can do the same with the, with the leg just put a band around and then pull up and you know, just keep the isolated movement in the hip joint while you're keeping the trunk stable with intra-abdominal pressure you can add direction and uh, pull in a different direction while you're still moving it change the position a little bit. You can get a fit ball. Pass that from the feet, from the legs to the arms. And it's all stabilized with a nice pressure in the middle. If you get really good at it, you can just throw it from one to the other and back again. Just remember this illustration with these little concavities at the side. That means that you're using the rectus abdominis with a nice round stomach. When you start these exercises, remember it's important to do them properly. So I recommend you seek assistance from a DNS trained professional. Thanks for watching.